Ooh, that's a nice continuous miss. I like that. Hi, YouTube. I am Chantel, um, also known as Telly Tale, and I am here with an unboxing of Vanilla Planifolia by Chloe. I've already taken it out of the box um, just because I shot the footage of myself taking it out the box, but it was no good. So I am going to go ahead and just jump right into it. If you do want to see the package in here is the package in here. And it does have a statement from the perfumer on there. And I think the perfumer is Par Quentin Biche, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, if I'm not, go ahead and comment down below and then we'll make sure that I am corrected for the next time. And this says, as an apprentice perfumer, I learned that vanilla comes from a unique orchid. From then on, the dream of developing a fragrance based on this rare flower whose scent is almost non-existent in nature has left me. As I imagined it, my ideal composition evokes delicate petals with deliciously spicy accents that reveal the alluring mysteries of an enveloping, almost carnal flower. Sweet, sensual, and addictive. A flower that is good enough to eat. So um, I ordered this from Nordstrom and it was $130 um, US dollars. When you buy anything from Nordstrom, they'll give you whatever beauty and fragrance bag for the month. They went ham in this beauty bag. There's replica. I have some light blue, some Victor and Rolf. I also have some Le Labo. I also have some Byredo. I think they gave me Mojave Ghost. So let's get into the scent. As far as the package this is how the bottle looks okay um it says atelier de fleurs and again <laughs> yeah feel free to correct me on that vanilla planifolia and then it has chloe at the bottom top it is not a magnetized top you have to give it a little bit of muscle in order to get it on and to get it off but for some people that can be a plus because that allows you to pick up the fragrance without having running the risk of dropping it. The bottle is glass and it is pretty heavy. <laughs> you can use it as a weapon if you need to. Uh, the one thing that I don't really care for on the packaging is how this portion is like paper. So I'm pretty sure if I really worked hard to peel that, I could probably peel that off, but that's pretty much paper. Um, so if your fingers are dirty or soiled, um, if you, touch this it can get this dirty as well um i would have preferred it to be engraved in the bottle for 130 dollars, but i'm not going to get picky um, but that's just something that um i notice um as a person that really take pride in bottles so let's go ahead and get into the juice it's a nice little mist Ooh, that's a nice continuous mist i like that i'm gonna spray this on my skin now, let me tell you while this is drying down, the first thing I am getting is a very vegetative vanilla. Um, this is not a gourmand or a cookie or a gooey vanilla. It is sweet. There is some sweetness in the background there. I did check on Fragrantica and it only has the vanilla floral flower note listed on there. And then it also has, I think, spices is what it said on there. I'm getting that vegetative vanilla and then there is a slight medicinal background trying to come through on me and it comes across as band-aids and I also got this from Baccarat Rouge um, MFKs for the first few minutes of it so it's not something that's new to my skin but it goes away pretty quickly here and I'm hoping it goes away for this particular fragrance. This it does give me that safe vanilla it is a floral vanilla so it would work in the summertime i wouldn't wear it in like a very humid place but if it's hot and it's dry um like over there on the west side like i think that you can go ahead and pull this off um but that medicinal quality is still there and i'm in the mid notes I think it's going to try to be the star. I think the band-aid is going to come out on me and say, you know what, this is going to be my show and the rest of y'all just stand behind me. That's what I think it's going to do. All right, so I think I'm at the final stage of it and I am getting a very sweet floral vanilla. Um, it's not like a spicy or it's not like a very pristine or pungent um, floral. It is a very soft and rounded floral vanilla. I think what Fragrantica has listed as 
um, spices. I wouldn't be surprised if it's some type of incense or if it's some type of smoke or some type of smoky essence because one thing that I noticed about my particular skin is that smoky goes medicinal on me. I think that's what they incorporated in this to try to give it some more depth so that it's just not a very round, soft, safe, safe vanilla. But I actually wanted that. <laughs> if they stuck with that uh, i'm getting that smoky essence that's trying to come across as a band-aid on my skin i'm also getting um that vanilla that rounded vanilla am i going to keep it i don't know yet um i think i am going to start first thing in the morning by this fresh out of the shower and then i'm going to try it with bare vanilla victoria secrets is bare vanilla and then we'll give it a go and see how it works then but as of now Projection out of 10, 10 being angel. I'm going to give this guy a four. It seems to be sitting pretty darn close to my skin. As far as longevity, I cannot comment on that yet because it hasn't been hours. Um, but as far as the overall scent, 10 being my absolute favorite, I'm going to give it a three. One positive about it is that it's sweet. Okay. And I do say it's safe. But a negative to me is whatever those spices that fragrance didn't list, it comes across smoky and it comes across medicinal, which for me, I just cannot with that. This was $130 on Nordstrom's website. To me, that's a little bit expensive to keep in my collection if I don't love her. If you have any other scents that you want me to try, you can comment them below. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe because there will be more where that's coming from. I'm going to even get myself into doing clothing hauls because I like to buy clothes as well. Stay tuned and thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.